Hi, in this tutorial we are going to create a web service based on the Access2 WSDL2 Java approach. I'm going to show you how to set up a Maven3 Access2 project in Eclipse, how to generate service classes and a service.xml file from a WSDL file, I will show you a sample service implementation, then I'll show you how to build an AAR archive and deploy it on the Access2 engine. At the end, I'm going to show you how to test the solution using SOAP UA. OK, start to Eclipse IDE. Let's begin. Right-click in the Project Explorer panel and pick New Project. Now select Maven Project and click Next. Check Create a Simple Project option and click Next. This creates a basic Maven project structure. No archetype selection is needed. Enter group ID and artifact ID. Select packaging. We need the project packaged as a jar file. Click finish. OK, the base structure is done. The next step is to generate a service.xml file and all the backend code which implements a web service functionality. For this tutorial, I have taken a WSDL file from our previous tutorial where we were using Access and the Java 2 WSDL approach. This file describes a simple high score service. OK, back to work. At the beginning, we need to place a WSDL file in our project. I choose the main resources folder. I'll create a WSDL folder here. Now I need to copy a WSDL file to my newly created folder. OK, it's here. Take a look at the WSDL file contents. You should know it from our previous tutorial. It's a high scores service definition. We had a get high scores size operation which returns a number of high scores held in the service. Here is a get high scores size response element which is an integer value. Next is a get high scores for nickname operation. Then a get high scores operation which returns a list of high scores for a given nickname. All the detail operation descriptions can be found in our previous tutorial. Now let's take a look at the pom.xml file. Here is a configuration which will generate all the code and the service.xml file for us. We use the access to WSDL2 code Maven plugin. The WSDL2 code goal is being executed. We need to point to our WSDL file which we just copied. Next we set the generate service XML parameter to true which will tell the plugin to generate a service.xml file. We set the unpacked classes parameter to true to tell the plugin to create unpacked classes. Now let's run the generate sources Maven phase. Take a look at your target folder. We have a service.xml file generated. Here are all the service side service classes. Now we need to generate a server side interface, which we need to implement in order for our web service to work according to the WSDL file. Add and set the generate service side interface parameter to true in the pom.xml file. Now we need to copy service.xml which was generated in the target directory in the previous step. To the main resources folder. We will modify it later so we don't need to override our changes each time we build our project. Run the generate sources Maven phase again.
The next step is updating the Eclipse configuration so that we can see all the generated classes in a project class path. Have a look! Enter resources configuration to your pom.xml file. Point to the main resources directory and to the resources directory of the generated sources file structure. Next, we need to set up some dependencies. Access to XML Beans, which is a technology for accessing XML by binding it to Java types used by Access to. And the XML API, which is an XML InfoSet compliant object model implementation supporting on demand object tree building. Right click on the pom.xml file and select Run as and the Maven build option. In the goals field, enter Eclipse, Eclipse. Click Apply and then Run. Refresh your Eclipse project. All the needed classes are now in the project class path. Now we are almost ready to implement our service. We need to create an implementation class. Have a look! In the generated sources file structure we have generated a high score service skeleton interface. This interface describes all the methods that we need to implement. In the service.xml file, which we copied earlier to our resources directory, we have a service class parameter. This parameter points to the class which implements our web service. Change its value to point to your class. Now we are going to create our implementation class. Our class needs to implement high score service skeleton interface. Now all we need to do is to implement all the methods. I have prepared a simple implementation of this sample high score web service. Have a look. My implementation consists of two classes. The high score class which represents data and my high score service skeleton class, which I've created in the previous step. The high score class consists of a nickname and a score variable. We have simple constructors here, the default one and the assigned constructor. Next are the access methods. Our service implementation class has a static list of high scores, which is initialized in the static block. Now I'll show you the most complicated method of my implementation to give you a clue on how things work. Here is my get high scores for nickname method. It takes the get high scores for nickname argument of the get high scores for nickname document class. This method returns the get high scores for nickname response document class. These types were generated by Access2 based on the whistle definition. At the beginning, a nickname string value is taken from the argument object. Next, a result variable which is a collection is being created. This variable is initialized with an array list object holding high score objects. This high score type was generated by Access2 as well. Next, I check if there is a nickname value provided and if it is present. 
I iterate through my high score service list and try to find elements that contain given nickname scores. When a nickname matches, I create a high score TMP variable and copy values from the high score service list to it. Next, this TMP object is added to the result collection. After this main loop, an empty response document is created using factory implementation generated by Access2. Next, we have an empty response object created with factory implementation that was generated by Access2 as well. Next, we set the return array by calling the toArray method of our local result variable. The next step is setting a response object. At the end, the response doc variable is returned. Simple? Our implementation is ready. Now we only need to deploy it to the Access2 web application. To set up this application quickly, Please follow our tutorial, which is available for you here. OK, let's generate an AAR archive and deploy it. Configure the Access2 AAR Maven plugin in your pom.xml file. A service.xml file and a whistle file has to be pointed to. I have chosen files from my main resources directory. Next, configure a package phase after which the generation will take place and the goal which is AAR. Now run Maven Clean, generate sources and package goals in one execution. Done. In the target directory you can find an AAR archive file. Now start your server. My server is up and running. Now I'll copy this newly generated AAR archive to the Access2 Web Inf Services directory of my Access2 Web Application deployment. The server log says that it has been deployed successfully. OK, now we are ready to test our sample web service implementation. I use SOAP UI for this task. Start it and follow me. Start your browser. Navigate to http localhost 8080 access to. Click the services link as a high score service link. Here's our services wisdom file. Copy its URL. In SOAP UI, right click and pick New SOAP UI project. Paste the wisdom URL and click OK. Pick the method and expand the tree until you see a request element. Click a request element. Here I have a get high scores operation request. Let's run it. Here are the results. I'll pick person 1 and call the get high scores for nickname operation.
Here are the results. My web service works like a charm. Ok, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. In case of any questions, just post a comment under this video or use Facebook or Twitter. You can easily find us there. Take care and take ID easy. Bye! Thank you.